Hi everyone, welcome back. So, continuing the last tutorial on shared VPC. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we do things practically. So, before we get started, I just want to mention this thing that if you want to follow this tutorial or any tutorial on shared VPC, you must have an organization account. This tutorial can't be performed on your personal account unless and until you have an organization in it. Uh, so without further uh, ado, let's just get started. So I already have a project as demo project. This project I'm going to use it as host project. And I've created another project known as service project Kush. And this project I'm going to use, at, use it as service project. So I'd suggest you to create two projects and how you can do that you can just click on this icon with three dots and then you can click on new project and then you can give some name to your project as uh, let's just say host project demo and then you can click on create. I already have my project so I'm not going to create a new one just going to press cancel and and in the same way you can create your service project also when you've created both of your projects select your project that you want to be as your host project so I've selected mine demo project 2020 will be my host project I'll click on the navigation menu and then I'll scroll down to VPC section VPC network I'll create VPC network like we normally create. I'm going to name it as uh, main VPC network. VP just going to give the description of shared VPC network because we'll be sharing this network with the rest of our projects and then we're just going to create a subnet that will be sharing you can either select automat automatic mod and a subnet will be automatically created for you but no we are going to go with custom just for the sake of the practice also so I'm going to name it as uh, subnet1 and then I'm going to select the region as the central one and then the range I'm going to give as 154.0.0 slash 15 yeah perfect and then I'm going to click on I'm going to go global and then done and then I'm going to click on create let's see so my VPC that I just created with one subnet is getting created it's in progress <coughs> once it is created going to see refresh don't take that much time so here it is it is created once it is created we'll go on share vpc and then set up share vpc enable host project uh, save and continue And then you get two options to share all the subnetworks under your host project or to share individual subnets that falls under your host project. So as I already have one subnet, I'm just going to click on share all subnets. Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually going to select individual subnets because I don't want to share the default ones if I click on share all subnets the default ones will also fall, uh, fall under the 
share all subnets uh, option so i don't want that i just want to share the subnet that i created the custom one let's see where it is there i go subnet one there it is i'm just going to select this and click on continue and then you have to give permissions to the project to which project to the project you want to share these subnets with the service project so i want to use a service project kush as the service project and then here are the permissions that you can give compute instance admin compute network admin owner editors perfect and then save so far we've um, created a vpc network and subnet in our host project we've shared vpc with our service project so let's see the attach projects with this one so the attach project is service project kush perfectly fine and it is showing only shared subnet so we selected subnet 1 that we wanted to share so this is also perfectly fine <clears throat> now what we are going to do we are going to give subnet level permissions that we've already given Yeah, so this is my uh, kudya dot kushbu at olivetech dot io. So I've already given the permissions. If you want to add some other member to this, for example, I want to add um, an I am member kudya dot myank. So I'm going to add him and then give him the role of compute network user. I'm going to save. now he can also use the subnet that i shared in his project so he have the access to it now that we've done everything that was required in a host project let's just go to our service project to go to my service project i'm going to click on these three dots and then i'm going to select my service project that is a service project kush now let's try and create a compute engine and let's see what network networking options we get under it so i'm just going to create an instance click on create and then instance one is fine region is fine machine is fine boot disk is fine Let's just go to management security disk networking sole tenancy, and then networking section. I should be able to see, though it is a different project, but because we are using shared VPC, because we attach this project to our host project, I should be able to see the VPC network that I created in my host project. So, uh, network interfaces, and I'm going to click under this. pencil section so networks in this project either i can use a networks in this project or i also see a option network shared with me so i'm going to select this option networks shared with me and then i have a option of shared subnet and i will be i should be able to see the subnet i created with my host project that is subnet 1 there we go subnet 1 I can use this one because we've shared, uh, we've we've kept the service project to be shared with our with our host project. We've attached this project with our host project. And done, and then create. Perfect. and there's another thing that we should keep in mind so whenever we are creating a shared vpc and we are using a shared subnet or shared vpc the firewall rules we need to um, define them explicitly we won't be able to use the default firewall rules we'll have to uh, we'll have to make them we'll have to custom make them again so i'll just show you again 
let me just call create instance again and it give us the warning about firewall rules again I'm going to do the same thing networking the network shared with me be able to see subnet one again and then done see firewall setup is not available for template configured to use shared subnet so I'll have to make uh, my own custom firewall rules. I can't use the default ones, right? I'll have to make my own. So I can't select these. I'm not able to select the default one. So that's uh, that's also one thing that you should keep in mind. Just going to press cancel because we already created an instance. This was the instance we created, instance one. And just to double check, let's go under network interfaces and under network we are using a network called main VPC net network that we created and the project is infra memento this is just the uh, project ID of my host project which was demo project 2020 so this is the project ID and then the subnet we are using is subnet 1 this also we created in the host project uh, so that's all for shared VPC. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope you understand the concepts of shared VPC and I hope you can do it on your own. If in case you have any doubts, any queries, please mention in the comment section below and I'll be happy to solve your queries or any questions. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching.